Good evening, good evening. Welcome back, welcome back. How are you doing today? Hello, Raul Antonio. Hello, Wendy Lisette. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Teresa Acosta. Hello, good evening. Luis Fernando. Hello, Jose Aristides. Hello, Saraí. Welcome, welcome, everybody. How are you doing today? Good evening. Very well, very well. Excellent, excellent. I am happy to hear that. I hope that everybody had an awesome Tuesday, very productive with your at work. Uh, I hope that you guys are ready. Uh, if you have any questions on the platform right now, you can ask me. Any questions on the platform? You can ask me. No question. Okay, thank you, Lorena, for responding. At this moment, I would like for us to review a little bit of the questions that we were uh, talking about in yesterday's class. Uh, let me have two volunteers, please. Two volunteers, please. Okay, Luis Fernando and Wendy Lisette. Uh, Luis Fernando, I would like for you to ask Wendy Lisette uh, some questions from yesterday's class. Um, the question and I asked if the, you sent yesterday in WhatsApp, right? Uh, yes, but I want you to ask the questions with would you like? Uh, would you like to go to the movies with me? Would you like to go eat? Uh, would you like to go to the beach? Teacher, okay, okay, okay. I go, I go into the question. Me? Or answer? Yes. Uh, Wendy, you can ask the questions. And then we can have uh, Luis Fernando respond to the questions. Hello, Jose Edgardo. Hello, Mirna Janet. Hello, Leana. Hello, Zaira. Hello, Jocelynier. Ruth, welcome. Juan Carlos, Brenda, Carla Abigail, Mauricio. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Bienvenidos. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. You can ask the questions. Luis Fernando respond. Okay. Uh, hello, Luis. Would you like some water? Oh, uh, hi, Wendy. Yes, I would like some water. Would hey, solo puede like... responder, yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't. Would you Please. like some coffee? Oh, yes, I would. I love coffee. Would you like um go to eat pupusas with me? Uh, would you like go or would you like to go? Would you like to go to go eat uh, eat pupusa? Um yes, I will. Would you like to go walking with me? Oh, um, yes, I would like to go, but I um, have a, a neck pain. <laughs> would you like to go shopping with me? Um, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> would, would, would you like to go to the beach with me? Um, yeah, I will. Okay, now vice versa. Wendy ask the questions and Luis Fernando respond to the questions. I respond and, and I answer. Yes, yes, please. Teacher, in this moment, I ask the question. 
That is correct. Vice versa. Wendy change, uh, change the role. Change okay. the role. We're going to have Wendy ask the question, and we are going to have Luis Fernando respond to the question. Teacher, uh, okay. uh, me Wendy's, ask the question. Let Wendy me. ask first. Ah, <laughs> vice, <laughs> now. Sorry, yeah. vice versa. Mm -hmm. I was a little distracted. Sorry. Okay. Don't worry. Uh, hi, mm -hmm. Wendy. Uh, would you like some water? Yes, I will. Okay, and would you like some coffee? No, I will wouldn't. Okay, good. Um, would you like to go to the movies with me? No, I will. No, <laughs> I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Ajá, que se escucha al final el t. Ok, no I wouldn't. Ajá, así ya se escucha negativo. No, I wouldn't. Oh, ok, ok. Y, yes, sorry, it's movies or movie theater? Eh, normally you can just say movies. Uh, in the United States, in the United States, people say, would you like to go to the movies? It means the movie theater in the common... Uh -huh. American English. Uh -huh. oh, okay, good, good. Okay, uh, next question. Uh, would you like uh, to go eat some pizza, pizza with me? Yes, I will. You pay. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> smart, smart, smart. <laughs> yeah, very smart, really. <laughs> and would you like to go walking with me? Yes, I will. <clears throat> okay, good. And would you like to go shopping with me? Yes, I will. And you pay. <laughs> Do you pay? And you pay. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you pay. <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> um no expensive no no uh, um i i i am no expensive don't expense <laughs> ah okay that's good that's good <laughs> okay um i finish you finish Only that Ex teacher. Yeah. excellent luis fernando thank you excellent wendy uh, go ahead, Wendy, select another student. And Luis Fernando, select another student, please. Okay. Uh, Mirna Janet. Mirna Janet, can you hear me? Yes, Mirna. Sir. Okay, Mirna Janet, ask the question. Okay, um, and um, Zulma Maritza. Zulma Maritza. Zulma Maritza. Respond to the question. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Yeah. Vamos a esperar, Mirna va a empezar con las preguntas y Zulma va a responder. Uh, son de las que están en el chat, ¿verdad, Pichu? Sí, pero vamos a enfocarnos en las de ayer. Would you, para hacer invitaciones. Would you. Correct. Ok. Ahora, um, Pichu. A, que, a quién, perdón, le ibas a preguntar? Se las va a preguntar a Zulma Maritza. Ok. Hi, Zulma. Uh, would you like to go to the movies with me? Do like... Yes. Would you, would like me? Okay, right there is Zulma. Yeah, teacher, puedes escribir la pronunciación, por favor. 
Okay, uh, one second, Mirna, uh, one second, Zulma. Uh, Ruth, Marielos, uh, la pronunciación, uh, ¿cuál pronunciación quiere que les apoye? Sí, teacher. Uh, ¿Cuál pronunciación quiere que le apoye? Ah, uh, este, la de um, good, algo así. Would. La verdad que me cuesta, sí. Would. Would. Ajá, ajá, por eso es que le, le escribía que sí podía um, escribir cómo se pronuncia, o sea, se me hace a mí más fácil para entenderlo. Okay. ok, se escribe W-O-U-L-D, would, sí, sí. y se pronuncia would. Would. Good. Ah, good. Would. O sea que good. es eh, como más suave la pronunciación en relación a good, de good morning, good afternoon. Ah, correct. Ajá, porque esa es g, g, good, good, good. good. Ah, ok. Es con una Gracias, Peter. Esa como, era la duda. Como, like, like when we say gato, good. Okay. Esta okay. no. Good. Esta es como wa, Walter, would. Ah, uh, ok. Ajá, como Walter, Wendy, would. Y el I negativo would. es wouldn't y se tiene que pronunciar la T. Si no pronuncia la T, no es negativa. Wouldn't. 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 Okay. Good. Good. Okay, teacher. Gracias. Of course. My pleasure. Uh, continue. Continue, continue, please. Continue, please. Okay. Sulma Maritza, would you like to would eat some pizza with me? Yes, I would like. I, I, you said, yeah, yes, I would. Yes, yes, I would. would. Yes, I would. Yes, yes, I, I would. would. Como esa respuesta cerrada, yes, I would. Okay. Yes. Sería la otra. Would you like to walk in with me? I don't understand. Uh, uh, se escucha como cortadito. Lo escuché. Ah, oh, okay. She said, would you like to go? Would you like? Walking with me. Walking. Would you like walking. to go walking with me? Yes, would. Yes, yes would, would or yes, I would. Yes, I would. La otra sería, would you like to go shopping with me? Um. Yes, I would like shopping with you. Okay, solo sería yes, I would. Ah, uh, estas son como. Eh, preguntas cerradas como do you like pizza yes I do or no I don't so in this case if I say would you like to go shopping with me only okay. yes I would porque si ya dice yes, yes I would I like eh, estaría um, incompleta la oración tendría que decir yes I would like to go shopping with you pero estas uh -huh. como son preguntas cerradas, solo es yes, I would, uh -huh. para decir sí, o no, I wouldn't, para decir no. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, but we're going to stop, we're going to stop right here, we're going to stop right here. Thank you, Zulma, thank you, Mirna. Now we're going to switch roles. Now Zulma ask the questions, and Mirna respond to the questions. Okay. Would you like to go to the beach with me? Yes, I would. Okay. Would you like some coffee? Yes, I would. I love it coffee. <laughs> Especially right now in English class. <laughs> um, 
Would you like a uh, pupusas? Yes, I will. Okay. Would you like to go eat some pizza with me? Um, no, I wouldn't. Wouldn't. What a good pronunciation. Excellent, excellent. Good pronunciation. All right, we're going to take a break right here. Now, uh, does anybody have any questions in regards to these activities? Uh, questions about how to ask the question or how to respond to the question? Eh, preguntas como hacer las preguntas o como responder las preguntas? Not okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes, I have, I have a, a question. question. Okay, Teresa primero and then Jose Edgardo. Eh, sí, vaya, un ejemplo para decir, ¿quieres ir a comer pupusa conmigo? Es incorrecto decir, well, do you like eat pupusa with me? Correct. O no es Correct. necesario decir eso. Correcto, porque si usted pone el would y el do, Los dos son auxiliares. So, would y do juntos no, no van. Usted dice, would, por ejemplo, eh, would you like to go eat pizza with me? O ahí le está haciendo una invitación. So, el would es más que nada para hacer una invitación. Y el do, do you like pizza? Allí solamente está preguntando si le gusta la pizza. El do, do you like? Ok, thank you. Ya, yeah, pero juntos no pueden ir. No puede decir would, do you? O do you, would? Ahí ya no, porque los dos son auxiliares. Buena pregunta. Thank you, Teresa. Uh, José Edgardo, what is your question? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, the word is for invitation only. Um, for invitation only. And also, uh, if you are using the conditional. Eh, por ejemplo, si usted dice, oh. si me gano la lotería, me, me voy para Italia. If I won the lottery, para situaciones hipotéticas, situaciones no reales, situaciones imaginarias. If I won the lottery, si me ganaría la lotería, I would move to Italy. Right. Si me gano la lotería, me mudo a Italia. Right. Allí también se puede usar el web. And then it's ah. like uh, I desearía o me gustaría. Correcto. Me gustaría. I would like. Correct. I have a question. All right, vamos uh, con Zaira and then con Mirna. Zaira, what is your question? Sí, Pets. Yo, yo, ten, yo tenía entendido que would es el día en el verbo, en infinitivo. O sea, comería, me gustaría, haría, dormiría. Eh, me da una oración, me da una oración. imaginario. Eh, ¿Me puede dar una oración en ese ejemplo que está dando? Um, I would go to the gym. With Yo, you. I don't know. Ah, sí. Eh, por ejemplo. O si, sea, so porque sí. no es solo en, en like, que me gustaría, sino que también podría ser en. Yo iría. Ah, sin, yo sin, quitándole, iría, quitándole el, el like. Ajá, ajá, correcto. Sí, sí, ajá. sí, sí. Usted puede decir, por ejemplo, okay. yo iría al gym si tú me lo pagas. I ajá. would go to the gym 
if you pay for my mem membership, uh -huh. yo iría al gym si tú me pagas la membresía. Yes, es correcto. Sí se puede. Okay. Good, Zaira. Thank you. Uh, Mirna Janet, what is your question? Sí, teacher. Uh, yo estaba viendo en la plataforma en los videos que sale antes de, de realizar los ejercicios que ponen como una fórmula. Eso mm. siempre va a aplicar cada vez que vamos a hacer, digamos, la pregunta o la invitación. Correcto. Si está haciendo la invitación, sí. Eh, era este video. No, pero. Oh, no. Ok, give me a second. Midterm, midterm. Okay, está cargando. Let me share my screen with you. Okay, here it is. I really like pop music, WH questions, intonation questions, invitation, aquí está, aquí está. Eh, es uh, verb to es, verb es el verbo to be, ¿verdad? es el verbo to digo, el, cualquier verbo aquí el, Just, cual, cualquier verbo después el, to, ese sí ya no cambia y después el otro verbo por ejemplo, si yo le digo eh, ¿te gustaría ir al cine conmigo? ahí sería primero would Would, después el sujeto, you, eh, después el verbo, like, eh, después el preposición to, y después el verbo go, would you like to go, o would you like to eat, would you like to eat, y el complemento. O, would you like to watch a movie? Uh, would you like to dance? Te gustaría bailar. Would you like to dance? So, ahí estamos viendo el verbo dinámico. Go, eat, watch, eat, dance, que son verbos activos que se ve la acción, y después vemos el verbo pasivo, que es like, que, eh, que expresa una emoción, like. De, de lo que le gusta. Correct, te gustaría. Ok. Mm -hmm. So, esta es la fórmula. Would, subject, verb, preposition to, and verb. Would you like to go to the movies? Would you like to eat pizza? Would you like to watch a movie? Would you like to dance with me? All right, so esta es la fórmula base y de ahí el complemento. Los complementos. Okay. Buena pregunta. Another question? No, teacher. ¿Alguien más que tenga alguna otra pregunta, duda, consulta? Okay. Now, what I would like for us to do is check the next activity. ¿Todos hicieron esta actividad ya? Yes. Okay. Let me have Lorena Saraí. Please read the question and then the response. No puedo entrar a la aplicación, teacher, porque este, siempre que entro, me manda aquí a la clase. Ah, Como okay. En teléfono. Ah, okay. That's okay. Uh, Pero si quiere, le puedo leer la, la pregunta y la compañera o un compañero que responda la pregunta. Okay, okay. Okay. 
I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta, guys? Would you like to go? Yes, yes. 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 I love, love to. Yes. 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 yes, yes, I'd love to. Perfect. Yes, I'd love to. Very good. Rebecca, Abigail, number two, please. Okay, would you like to come over for dinner for dinner tomorrow night? Seria, I'd like to, but I have meeting. Very good. I'd like to, but I have a meeting. Perfect. Uh, let me have Jocelyn. Joseliner. Joseliner. Uh, number three, would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? Is um, Yes, I really like to go. Okay, aquí sería I'd, con la D, I'd. I'd, I'd. Ajá, porque está en I'd contracción really... el auxiliar would. Yes. Okay. I like you. to go. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, let me have Marvin Neftali. Number four. Marvin Neftali. Uh, Walt, you like to go at soccer match next Sunday? Okay. In this case, the pronunciation is... Saucer, saucer or soccer? Soccer. Soccer. Mm, Good. Soccer. Soccer. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Soccer. What is your answer? Uh, yes. I do love to. Thank I, you. I do or I'd love to? I do. No. I do not. I, I, I love. I'd love to i love to i'd love to i'd love ah, to excellent excellent recuerde que no podemos usar el would y el do porque los dos son auxiliares uh, let me have number five saul alexander Would you like to go watch a movie on Friday night? Would you like to go or would you like to watch? Would you like to watch a movie on Friday night? I like I like to, but I have to work. Oh, this Friday, no work. <laughs> this Friday, no class. <laughs> All right. Uh, any questions about this pronunciation? Questions about this uh, vocabulary? Okay. Tengo, I have a question. Eh, estaba un poco ocupada, teacher, pero cuando usted explicó lo de AID, ¿qué significa AID? AID es la contracción de I would. Okay. I would, y la contracción es I. Okay. okay. Good question. Gracias. Of course. Another question. Another question. Somebody have another question? Teacher. Hey, Jose Edgardo. Hi, teacher. Uh... Uh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, I sing Spanish. Claro que sí. Pregúnteme si están en pre-intermedio. Todavía se puede. Cuando ya estén intermedio, ahí sí ya no. Pero pre-intermedio todavía se puede. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pero este, si soy su sí. teacher en el intermedio y me dice, 
teacher Spanish, I'm going to say, mm, habla mucho poquito español. <laughs> no, este quería preguntar si usted no tiene este, un PDF de verbos o de los tiempos gramaticales del inglés. Mm -hmm. eh, es, ¿Nos tienen prohibidos eh, compartir material fuera de la plataforma? Pero si usted va a Google, usted solo ponga en Google eh, verbs, puede poner así, puede poner active. Uh, no, se llaman dynamic. Dynamic verbs. Los dynamic verbs son los verbos que usted puede ver. La acción, por ejemplo, eat, dance, walk. Run. Son verbos que usted ve la acción. Son los verbos dinámicos. Y están los stative verbs. Stative verbs. Que son los verbos que usted no puede ver. Por ejemplo, usted cuando dice like. I like pizza. Like es un verbo stative. Porque no se puede ver. Eh, usted dice love. I love you. Love es un verbo que se siente, no se ve, se siente. Esos son los static verbs. O oh, want, I want a coffee. Quiero un café, want. Right? Es un verbo, pero no puedes ver la acción. I drink coffee. Drink, sí es un verbo dinámico, porque usted ve la acción. Pero want, oh. no la ve. Uh -huh. So, usted ponga ahí, o puede poner en Google, uh, también puede poner regular verbs, verbos regulares, regular verbs, list, puede poner lista, o puede poner, all right. O usted puede poner irregular verbs. Irregular verb. Regular verb list. Y allí le van a salir más de 10 mil. Teacher, una pregunta. Uh, yes. Gracias, teacher. Of course, Jose. My pleasure. Jose? Saúl? No. Ya. Yeah. El, el ING que se usa aquí. No sé si lo vamos a ver más adelante. En sí. los verbos. Sí, sí. El en cuáles verbos es que no se usa con los irregulares o sí se usa? Eh, con los regulares y los regulares. El ING se puede usar con regulares y irregulares. Walk, walking. Walk. E ese es regular. Yeah. Walk, walking. Eh, pero si usted dice eat, eating, ese es irregular. Eat, eating. Así que el ING sí se puede usar con both. Regulares y irregulares. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Yes, Saul. Thank you for the question. Good question. Another question. Uh, así me gusta. Veo que le están sacando filo al machete. I like that. I like that. Yeah, es que si no pregunta, no va a aprender. Eso me gusta, que pregunte. Ok, eh, vamos a tomar unos minutitos para uh, hacer la uh, uh, assistance. Please uh, say present when I call your name. Diga presente cuando menciona su nombre. Eh, we got. Uy, dicen que enero tiene 89 días. No sé si será suerte, ¿cierto? <laughs> pues se siente como que sí. <laughs> yeah, man. Los crazy. primeros 15 días, dicen. Ah, sí, dicen que pues, oh, enero tiene... Hoy vi un meme que decía, yo en enero y está el día 89. Y después está otro que dice, yo fingiendo que ya me pagaron en el cajero. <laughs> Sabiendo que no han pagado. <laughs> oh, man. It's crazy. 
Ya yo estoy en la misma situación. Así que hay que seguir comiendo pupusas, frijoles, aguacates, tortillas. Es cierto. Yeah. Uh, okay, are you ready? When I say your name, please say present. Eh, Brenda Lisette. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Jonathan Eduardo. Jonathan Eduardo. Okay, absent. Jose David. Jose. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Moreno. Jose. Present teacher. Excellent. Present. Excellent. Jose Mendez. Present teacher. Good job. Jocelyn Romero. Present teacher. Good. Juan Carlos Cubillas. Juan Cubillas. Absent. Teacher, Juan Cubillas es el que le puso ahí que no podía por el trabajo, se iba a retirar media hora antes. En oh. El chat. oh, ok, él fue. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, aquí está el internet conectado. Por... Ok. Hello. Eh, let's see. Carla Abigail. Present teacher. All right. Um, Leana Flores. Present teacher. Excellent. Ligia Arias. Present. Good job. Lorena Mamsa. Yes. Presente. Excellent. Luis Linares. Present. Thank you. Luz de la O. Luz de la O. Uh, Maria Reese. Present teacher. Thank you. Marvin Cruz. Present teacher. All right. Mauricio Rivera. Mauricio Rivera. Absent. Mirna Landos. Mirna Landos. Present is present. Okay, thank you. Raúl Perez. Present teacher. Excellent. Rebecca Calderón. Present teacher. Thank you. It's Ruth Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Saúl Lozano. Present teacher. Thank you. Man, Wendy it? Carias. Present teacher. All right. Zaira Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Zul Zulma Landa Verde. Present teacher. Good. Teacher, un compañero creo que le quiere hacer una pregunta. Uh, sí, sí, yo lo escuché, pero hasta que termine la asistencia. Okay, sorry. Who has the question? ¿Quién tiene la pregunta? 
No, no me mencionó el nombre. nombre, Mauricio Rivera. Mauricio Rivera. Tengo problemas con el micrófono, quizás. Es ok, aquí está Mauricio Rivera, Mauricio Rolando. Okay. Present, excellent. Thank you, Mauricio. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Luz de la O, absent. Jonathan Eduardo, absent. Okay, solo dos. Nice. Good attendance. Very good. Okay, good job. Good job, guys. All right. Now, what I would like for us to do is we're going to read an article about Cristina Aguilera. Do you like Cristina Aguilera? Yes, I like. Okay, good. good. My mom likes. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, she has good music. Yeah. She has good music. All right. I would like uh, um, Raul Antonio read for me this section. Saul Antonio read for me this section. Lea para la clase esta sección que tengo en círculo. So far, she has multiple his singer. She has fun of how the eggs are on the world. And many people say she is the best singer of the her generation. She is Christina Aguilera. Excellent. Yeah. Stop, stop right there, stop right there. Uh, so we got multiple ages and generation. Okay, everybody listen and repeat. Multiple. 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 All right. Uh, the, next, the next one is ages. 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 Generation. 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 All right. Uh, now we're going to go to the next one, which is here are some highlights of Christina's life and career. Uh, highlights es como los puntos eh, más exitosos de ella en su vida, en su carrera como cantante y actriz. Eh, let me have Leana Maria read where it says 1980, eh, read 1988, and read 1992. Leame estos tres, estos tres puntos, please. Okay, timeline 1980. Christina is born on December 18 in New York. 1988, Christina first appears on television in a Star Search, a television talent show. Hey, yo me acuerdo, yo me acuerdo de Star Search. Cuando era bachiller, Star Search eh, era como el, era como el... America's Got Talent de los noventas. Okay. Yeah, yo soy old school, so. Este programa salía en, um, en, en mis tiempos. It's Woo! like um, uh, el de España, ¿cómo se llamaba? Ah, yo creo que es... Eh... Operación Triunfo. Yeah, Ajá. it's like that, Operación Triunfo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very similar. Okay, continue. 
Leana, continue. 1992, Christina is on TV in this nice new Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. Good, good. Este show, the Mickey Mouse Club, hizo famoso a muchos eh, jóvenes de esta época. Eh, Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake, y hay, hay bastantes que ahora son trimillonarios y empezaron aquí en Mickey Mouse Club. Eh, Mickey Mouse Club era como un show de niños, para niños. Como Barney, ¿se acuerdan de Barney? I love you, yes. you love me. Let's get together and be a family. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. <laughs> All right. Uh, 1994, let me have Brenda Lisette. Read for me, 1994, 1998, 1990. and 1999. 1994, Christina record, uh, I want to do, we case. Piso, creo que eso es, Kiso Nagasaki. Nakanishi. Nakastami, a Japanese pop star, she tours Japan. 1998, Christina sing a song for the Disney movie Mulan. Excellent. Excellent. 1990, mm -hmm. Christina has her fears. It hit, get me in bottle. 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 Es una O, pero se pronuncia A. Bottle. Bottle. Genie in a bottle. All right. Bottle. Good. 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 Solo one observation. Repeat. 1998. 1998. Ajá. Que se escuche eight. el al eight. final. Eight. 1998. All right, good job, good job. Thank you. There. And let's go to the last section, which is 2000. We're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have 2001, 2002, and 2004. Read for me, please. Alguien que no ha participado. La ¿Quién no ha participado? Uh, Carla Abigail. Two thousand one. Along with other singers, Christina Records, Lady Como se, se uh, Marmalade. 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 Uh, Christina Records, Lady Marmalade for the movie Moulin Rose. 2002. Christina performs at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. And 2004, Christina wins the best Pop Vocal Grammy Award for Beautiful. Excellent. Perfect. Good pronunciation. Uh, let me have another student. Um, uh, Jose Aristides. Read for me the last section. The last section at the bottom. Okay. <clears throat> Overall, Cristina Aguilera is the creator of her 
success is being with a roller coaster ride. She loves I simply love my how so do you so do you have Christina Fangs? Excellent. Excellent. Everybody listen and repeat. Bye. White. White. Ride. Ride. Simply. Simply. Job. 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 All. Oh. All. 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 All right. At this moment, does anybody have any questions in regards to the meaning? of any words in this text. Questions about the pronunciation. No questions. Uh, questions about the meaning of the words or something like that? Something about meaning. I have a uh -huh. question. Where... Yes. What is overall? I don't remember. Ah, overall, overall puede significar dos cosas. Overall pueden ser overoles que eran unos pantalones que llegaban eh, a la cintura y después tenían otra parte que se ponía aquí así en los hombros y se amarraba por acá. Overalls. Eso es un tipo de pantalón. Y overall, en este contexto, es como que, uh, digamos, eh, para resumir o, o ajá, para resumir eh, Cristina okay. Aguilera ha tenido mucho eh, éxito eh, y eh, su vida ha sido una roller coaster. Roller coaster es como una rueda, una roller coaster, es una rueda. Mm -hmm. So Thank overall, you. en este contexto es como que para resumir, digamos. So teacher, uh, Hi. Uh, what's mean thriller? Thriller. Thriller, eh, in, in the context, context of the the last eh, paraphrase. Ah, okay. Overall, Cristina Aguilera is thrilled by her success. Eh, dice Cristina Aguilera se siente eh, super emocionada, super feliz, super content, contenta. Eh, thrilled es como el máximo del de la felicidad. Okay, and but that is like, uh, como una muletilla, o sea, de una palabra que no tiene un significado específico en español, pero que no, quiere significar no. como eso de gran felicidad. No, no, no. Uh, thrilled y thriller. Están dos. Thriller, como la película. Thriller. Ya, ya, ya. Right. Ahí es como que te asusta. Thriller. Eh, thrilled, por ejemplo, tú dices, I am thrilled. Estoy súper feliz. Estoy eh, extático. Right? Es como una forma de decir que estás lo más alto en tu emoción de felicidad. Ok, ok, ok. Mm. Ok. Eh, now, we are going to check. Uh, the activity. Eh, quisiera que lea la oración y me dé la respuesta. Eh, let me have. Eh, ¿Quién no ha participado? Vamos a ver. Eh, Jonathan Ergardo. Can you hear me, Jonathan? Okay. Ligia Lisbeth. Okay, Jonathan Edgardo, creo que lo escuché o lo vi.
Okay. Dije a... Ay, yo creo que ellos tal vez están trabajando. Uh, let me have Raúl Antonio. She is a singer at the Winter Olympics game. Mm -hmm. Seven is the reply. Seven. Excellent. Mirna Janet. Sería um, number one. One. Perdón, perdón. Sorry, sorry. La pregunta es, she is born in New York. Um, okay, good. Number, number one. one. Excellent. Uh, Luis Fernando. Hi. Um, the question is, she wins a Grammy for beautiful. And the answer is. Eight. Eight. Good. Okay. Letter D. Teresa Acosta. Letter D. She records a song for a Disney movie. The answer is na number five. Five. Good. Letter E, please, for me, Saul. No? Okay, okay. Wendy. Letter E, she travels around Japan. The answer is number four, teacher. Four. Okay, la W no se pronuncia. Repeat, answer. Answer. An answer. Good. Letter F, Brenda. She worked with Vinnie Spear. Number three. Three. The answer. Okay. Letter G, Jose Edgardo. She is on television for the first time. And two. Two. Letter H. Rebecca. Excuse me, teacher. At letter H. She okay. has her first very successful song. Okay, number six. Six. Thank you. And let's check. All right, so number H, letter H is six. All right, letter G is two, letter F is three, letter E is four, letter D is five, letter C is eight, letter B is one, letter A, is seven. Any questions? No, teacher. Questions, questions? No, teacher. All right. So I would like for you guys, I think that this is the last activity that we are going to do on section number four. 
So I would like for you guys to move forward and I want you to start looking at conversation about families using present continuous. Conversations about families using present continuous. Uh, for example, I can say, my father is sleeping right now. Mi padre está durmiendo en este momento. I am working right now. Uh, my mother is cooking right now. Emphasis, le pongo el emphasis en right now porque el presente continuo se usa para lo que está pasando en este momento. All right, it's time to go, guys. Please continue working and we will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye.